Hi, Michelle here. Today I'd like to give you a little update on uh, the my health and dealing with long COVID. Um, ever since I got the booster back in November, um, I had flare-up of symptoms again. I initially was infected with suspected COVID. I never did get a test because it was February 25th, 2020 and they weren't testing people like me who, you know, weren't sick enough to be hospitalized or whatever. And I've been dealing with health issues since then. And sometimes I've been almost normal and other times not. It's been very unpredictable. And so this recent, since November recently, I've just had symptoms. And when I increase my activity just a little bit, I'm knocked out again and it's been so frustrating and now that there's more information about all the symptoms and everything then I realized some things I needed to take note of and I noticed that every time I stood up my pulse would be I'd be rapid pulse and uh, palpitations and shortness of breath so I finally broke down and saw the doctor again and I got started on a beta blocker and um, so that's helped with my pulse. And so I was like, oh yeah, I, I, this is, feels better. And this past week I said, oh yeah, I'm gonna you know, do some more stuff. And I did, like I hung a tapestry up and did some other things, not very strenuous. Like to me, that was just like, it was, it's nothing to a normal person. But I did that and then I was knocked on my butt for three days and in a lot of pain uh, so I'm like oh well you know two step for two steps forward one step back whatever it's just playing it by ear and it's just what it is and so um, yeah it's just a struggle and there are so many of us out there who are dealing with long COVID and my concern is that we're acting like we're over the pandemic, but COVID is still happening. People are still getting infected and they're not taking into consideration that you may get long COVID. Anybody can get long COVID. You can get long COVID from an asymptomatic, asymptomatic infection. So I would suggest that people be more careful and wear their masks. I mean, it's very little effort to wear a mask, you know, and keep your distance and be mindful of what you're exposing yourself to because you could end up like me and so many, like millions of other people who are struggling with long COVID. And this has been over two years now that I'm dealing with this and like, I'm not able to work right now it's so unpredictable and what do I do about that I don't know that it's just I don't know what's gonna happen and how long that I'm gonna be affected like this so I say wear your mask and keep your distance and be safe thank you and I'll see you in the next video bye